Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Thema Sarah from Moonshine Manny, and I'm going to do a Wonder Woman-inspired manicure. I'm starting off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat, and I'm just going to put one coat of that and let it dry before we get started, being sure to cap my tips. And here we go with the beautiful Moonshine Manny, there, Miss Sarah. And this one is in one of her old bottles, but um, it's still, you know, it's, I think it's still one that she might be carrying. I'll have to check and leave information down below. But I wanted to make sure that I wore this one because, you know, I bought the set and I don't think this, I think this was the only one I hadn't worn. But look, it goes on just really nice. I made a little bit of a mess, so Woody's going to have to come help me tidy that little corner up. And that's just the first coat. And here we go with the second coat. It does deepen it up and um, make it more opaque. So I decided to go ahead and do my two coat deal like I normally do. So there we go, we've got two beautiful coats. So I'm gonna top it with some posh top coat and get it to dry down so that I can do some stamping today. And there we go, I'm capping my ends off camera, <laughs> off frame. As usual, and there's Woody again, trying to help me out with some cleanup. And today I'll be stamping with the American Freedom plate from Westonia and the Nicole Diary Red, which is NS10, and the Nicole Diary Blue, which is NS06. And I'll be using my clear jelly scraper and my big clear stamper from Born Pretty. And I'm just going to use five different images off of this one plate. And here we go with the first one. And I'm going to use a little bit of tape to get some of that excess up. And I do apologize for going out of frame quite a bit. I am trying a new camera angle. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still working on it. So, you know, if you have any suggestions or anything, let me know down below. And here we go with this image. I loved this image. I just thought it was really cute. I love how dainty it is. It doesn't, you know, hog up the whole, you know, base color. It still leaves quite a bit of base color showing, but you've got something going on there. I love it. I just I really like that one. I like all of the images on this plate. This is probably one of my favorite plates here. You can use it for 4th of July, you can do it for any kind of patriotic mini, or if you just want stars like I did, I <laughs> just wanted stars. Because when I think of Wonder Woman, I think of stars. And these polishes are doing really great, and I'm just kind of, you know, red on one fingertip, blue on the other, and, you know, just mixy matching, just having a good time with it. And there we go, got to get some more of that image off of there, there we go, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> And voila, I lined that one up pretty good. <laughs> that don't always happen for me. So I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and clean up this extra that's all, you know, all over my fingers. And I'm just using pure acetone in my little cleanup brush and tidying that up before I get ready to do my top coat. Here we go, we're almost done. We're almost to the top coating time. But I really did like how this one turned out. I had, you know, um, been wanting to use this Moonshine Manny polish, so I figured for a Fandom Friday, I would do something a little different. Instead of doing Harry Potter, I would do, you know, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Kind of mix it up a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I would love to get a comment from you and hear what you think. Um, just leave me leave me a comment down below and we'll chat about this one or anything you want to chat about. Here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.